showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Simple question for you guys. Do you feel like from what you played in this format, you still need to run hand traps in the main deck? Because I'm really starting to question that. You know, in previous formats, when you had shit like the wind-up loops and Spellbook of Judgment, you had Dragon Ruler Rage, it felt like you pretty much had to run hand traps or you'd just get curb stomped. I mean, hell, we were fucking playing Droll and Lockbird in, like, the main deck sometimes because of how bad it got a few formats ago. You know, but the nature of hand traps is very simple, and you guys already know this. I mean, they're great against certain plays and certain decks, but if you come across a deck that your hand trap isn't so good against, I mean, well, they're practically useless. You know, there are a couple exceptions here or there. Like, you can use Effect Veiler to Synchro sometimes. I mean, and when I'm desperate and my Insectors, you know, I'll occasionally use, not often, but I'll occasionally use Maxi for, like, Insect Imitation to get me out of a bad spot, especially against a deck where, you know, Maxi isn't going to do much. Now, we all know that the stats of hand traps are pretty much shit, which is to be expected because... They're never really supposed to leave your hand except for when you activate their effects. So it's not like you're going to be running anything over in battle. And they're also just horrific top decks. I mean, if you draw one of these and your opponent draws a real monster, expect to lose the game. So this is not new information. You guys already knew this. And I've always thought that the top decks of a format dictate what hand traps to play. Like, what are the better hand traps and whether or not you really needed to run them. But when you look at this format, I mean, it's fucking all over the place. I've seen Insectors, Dark World, Fire Kings all showing up in regional top eights. I mean, hell, didn't Glad to, like, just top some regionals in Italy? I'm pretty sure Robbie just had that on his channel. I thought that Gear Geo looked like it was going to attempt to be the best deck of the format, but... I mean, isn't its Firefish matchup, like, fucking unwinnable? I mean, like, I know that Gear Gear like to sell a lot of monsters, but I'm sorry. Firefish Bear is just having none of that shit. I mean, he basically just comes out and he's like, Nigga, did I just catch you trying to set a Gear Gear armor? You know, and I already thought that Firefish 3 axis and 4 axis were going to be a high tier deck of the format. So it really just shows you, I mean, anything can kind of win right now. I don't feel like there is a dominant deck, so... When you're maxing out on hand traps, especially if you're contemplating running like three, uh, five or four spots, I just think like, I mean, it's a serious liability. You know, don't get me wrong, cards like Maxi and Baylor are still good. In fact, I still run two copies of Maxi in my sectors. Obviously, I have the backup plan of Insect Imitation in case the card is just completely dead. But, you know, this format is very, very sporadic. That's what I'm getting at. And I'd also like to give some recognition to... The hand trap that I feel like is, I mean, he's just completely forgot about. And that's DD Crow. You know, DD Crow is much better against Dark World than Baylor or Max C. And I've got to say, when playing against Insectors, like personally from uh, experience, when people have crowed my Hornet, I mean, that shit hurts five times harder than it ever could when you get Baylor. I mean, when you get Baylor, you can just put his Excalibur on your monster, you know, you can just set Wabaku, protect it from battle, you contribute it for imitation, use Call to Haunted to get another Insector back and pop something or use that same Insector. I mean, there's just, there's so many ways to get around a Fat Veiler, but, I mean, when somebody just is like, ah, you can't use Hornet for the rest of the game, I mean, that shit is demoralizing. It's either, like, work without Hornet for the whole game or jump through hoops trying to get Levier out, and then you still have to have Hornet dying. It's like, oh my god, just even saying that out loud, that's way too much fucking work. I'd rather just scoop. So let me know what you guys think. I think the magic number right now for hand traps is about two. Um, I know people will probably debate whether Max C or Veiler. I can't fucking stand Veiler. Like, not to get completely sidetracked. I just, the fact that it is a neg one, I know that it saves you from OTKs and Max C doesn't, but I can't fucking stand that card. Like, it's just my player preference or something like that. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Subscribing makes life happy. So I've been listening to this rapper, Macklemore, and some of you guys are probably going to say, like, really? You're just getting on this guy? No, I mean, I knew about him and everything, but I just thought that he was going to be some corny one-hit wonder white boy. You know, he's got the song Thrift Shop, and it just kind of seems like a little party song or whatever. But I downloaded the album, and it's like, whoa. This dude's kind of real. Like, I was pleasantly surprised that he actually has a really good album. I mean, it's one of those times where somebody got a lot of hype and actually they were worth it.